What is going on YouTube? It's your boy KBLX Rome here. <clears throat> Sorry. But today I wanted to bring you guys a video of, you know, just something I love to do. I love unboxing stuff, which is not really an unboxing, but that we'll get to that. So I've been trying to figure out what I want to do with the channel and I don't know, right? But I'm starting to try to get back to things I used to love doing when I was a little younger, right? I'm 22, right? I'm not that old, but things that I loved and had a slight passion for and stuff like that, right? So I used to play basketball in high school, right? So I've been playing basketball a lot more and I'm having fun with it, right? Just go play pickup game at the rec center or whatever, right? And it's fun, right? I don't try like I did when I was in, you know, like I had some to just go out there and play, right? I'll be pulling 40 footers or I'll be going in for left, right? I miss whatever, don't care, it does not bother me. So it's just good to get back to something that I enjoyed doing when I was young, some nostalgia, right? So I'm trying to figure out what I want to do for the channel, right? And I love unboxing stuff. Like just as a person, whether it's on camera, off camera, I love getting packages in the mail. I love bringing them in here to my little workshop, my little desk. I love cutting them open and just, oh, I know what's inside, right? But I like opening them, right? I like opening boxes and being like, wow, look at this. Like I wanted this, you know? So speaking of nostalgia, um, I want to start doing unboxing videos for you guys, right? And I think another thing I want to do and not just specifically unboxing videos, but shoes, right? So when I was young, I enjoyed shoes a lot. Even just like as a kid, I loved just, I had so many shoes. Like they were all like Walmart shoes, a couple pair of Nikes from JCPenney's, right? But I just had a little collection of shoes. I loved them. Some of them I never even wore. I just had them. They didn't fit anymore, but I still kept them around. But I am not a sneakerhead. I am by far not a sneakerhead. I can't tell you what Jordans are what. Yes, I know. Oh, those are the ones. Those are the twos, the threes. Oh, those are the 14s, right? Oh, oh yeah, those are the 12s, right? But I'm not going to tell you every single Jordan or what the new release is or like if somebody came up to me and was like, hey man, what do you think the most overhyped shoe in the, you know, of the year is? I'd be like, I don't know, man. But, uh, but I do love shoes, right? And I have a small shoe collection. Let me count them up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I have seven pairs of shoes, right? I've had more and I have more, but I've had, uh, I really like basketball shoes, right? I know Jordans are basketball shoes, but like the retros, it depends. Like you can play in like Jordan 30s or, you know, stuff like that, right? And I love Jordan 30s, it's my favorite Jordan, but um, there are different, uh, you know, I'm not an expensive sneaker person, right? Like maximum is like $500, right? I get that's expensive for a shoe, but it's like I'll spend $500 on a shoe and I'll wear it, but I'm not going to spend no $1,000, $10,000. I don't care about shoes like that. Like the, I think one that I seen I like were like the Jordan Dior's, like those are nice shoes, but I'm not paying 10 K for them. Or like, what were they, man? I don't even remember. Is this like red shoe that was like 20 K? I seen as a video of KSI, he like gave them away to charity, right? I forgot what they were off the top of my head, um, but it was like, I looked at those shoes and I was like, man, they're kind of ugly, but they're 20, they're worth 20K, so it's like everybody wants them, right? Not me, I don't care, right? So I, I buy shoes to wear them. Granted, I don't wear them a lot because I do like to maintain the structure of them. And if like, if I wear a shoe too much and it gets a little dirty, I'll clean it up and I'll just put it up, you know, I'm done with that shoe. So let's get into it. Um, starting off, we'll start, oh man, where do we want to start? We want to start basketball shoes or like, uh, I guess they're all bad. No, no, no basketball shoes but yeah we'll start with my everyday basketball shoes right so I bought these whenever I was in uh, Station in El Paso um, at an Under Armour outlet store for $60 they are the Curry 7s I have I forgot the colorway of them I don't remember what it's called but I really like these and they had them in my size on sale these are like my everyday basketball shoes like you can tell they're they're a little scuffed up I've had these for like shoot, we're on the Curry 10s I got these 2021 into 21 or the 22 right so i've had these for a little bit but i play every day in them well not like every day but you know what i mean so these are one of my i love this colorway i don't know why everybody always compliments me on my shoes whenever i'm at the court um curry's are also my favorite basketball shoe so curry's also my favorite player so i have these i bought these in 2018 right before i left for the army um i've wore them quite a lot but they're still in good condition Everybody has to have a pair of these in their collection. See, like, they're not, they're a little creased, not too bad. They're not dirty, I mean, other than the bottom, right? But, like, if you look, the bottom's dirty, right? So I've actually worn these quite a few pair of times, or quite a few times, and I'm actually proud of how good they look. Um, but those are my Air Force Ones. So coming up is in the same time frame I bought those, I also bought a pair of Hirachis. 
that I no longer have anymore because I literally wore those to the freaking wheels fall off. But um, I bought these the same day, which there used to be a video on my channel before I deleted it. They're Jordan ones. I have no idea what, could, like I said, I'm not a sneakerhead. I forgot what these are even called, all right, the colorway. But I actually don't see these that often. I know they're not an expensive like resale value, but I like these shoes a lot. The red, blue, and whites. The version of those that I really do want, but they are expensive, is they have a pair that is, um, it's like one is red, blue, and white. I think it's blue, or it's like red, red, black, and white. And then the other one is like black, red, and white. So it's like, they're, they look like two different shoes. It looks like you took one of these in a different Jordan. And like, so it's like mismatch, but I really like those. I cut a black out of them in like 2016. That's why I remember them. Okay, so let's go to my more recent buy. It's like I said, nostalgia, right? Talk about my shoes over here. So that's four pairs. Oh, I forgot another pair. So the same in, whenever I left for the army, I got, I was at AIT and I just had stupid money because you can't go anywhere. And then when they let you do go anywhere, you've been just getting paid from the army and just sitting in a bank account. So like two bands, two, three bands. And I was like, I want some drip. So I bought these, these are foam pops. I've actually never seen these anywhere else. I don't know where, what colorway they are. And I never have like, just not a common colorway. Uh, a guy I know that was really into shoes. He had a colorway similar to these, but they're not these. These are my foam posits. I actually really like these cause they're hard to get dirty, right? The color of them. And this isn't really like a creasable, Thanks. So I actually do wear these quite a lot. I mean, you can tell maybe by the bottoms, but these are my foam posits. Don't know the colorway. Purple is my favorite color. That's why I got them. In the same time, I bought those. Right? Funny story. Right? A little backstory. I bought those at a um, like a normal like a Foot Locker. Right? So I'm leaving a Foot Locker, and in the mall where I went to AIT, which is like your job school in the army, is a little mall. In the mall is a little section which is a flight club. Like it has like somebody that's, um, that's not called Flight Club, it's called like something, it's a little corner store. And it was like uh, something, something. And then it was like Flight Club is like who sponsors them and who they get their shoes from. So I bought those for like 195 and I'm walking. Like I told you, young buck with some money. I'm walking, I'm walking. And you know, they're hustlers out there. So they go, hey man, come here, come here. I see you got a new pair of shoes, man. Why don't you come here? And I'm like, you know, I was like, I didn't even know you guys were down here because it was like Foot Locker. And then it might've been like, uh, like, I don't even know what the other ones are. Maybe like Shoe Academy, I don't know. But it was like down the way. And I was like, I didn't even know you guys were down here. But I was like, I don't really want to spend that much on shoes. They're like, no, like we got, you know, some expensive stuff, but not like we have some, he's like, how much you spend for those? I was like, 195. He's like, man, he's like, I can get you something right now for like 270, you know, I was like, I was like, he's like, I can get you something for the same price, but I didn't really have anything that I liked in my size. And then finally, I was like, okay, fuck it, I'm gonna spend some money. Cause like I said, I was balling. But um, I bought these, which I've actually worn twice in my entire life. And uh, all those shoes I just showed you, I don't have the box for, which upsets me, but these I do. Um, I bought these, bad boys. These are my favorite pair of shoes I have. I don't wear them anymore because if you kind of look, I've worn them like three times and the coloration was starting to get a little dusty and then like you see there's little rocks in the bottom of them from when i wore them and the bottoms are dirty right but these are my favorite pairs and 12s actually kind of like were my favorite sneaker for a little bit but these i oh man i just looked up what they're called it's like velvet something or they're not velvet it's like maroon cream or something like that but i call them velvets because i know they have these that are literally just this uh this color right here like all over but i really like this white on the 12s right so these are my 12s um and I bought these for two, uh, so these are size 11. Oh, these actually aren't the box for these. Wow, I must have gotten rid of the box. Oh, I remember in AIT, you get like these little green duffels and I couldn't fit the box in it, so I had to throw it in. Unfortunately, I don't resell my shoes and I like to keep my shoes, so I'll never resell them, so the box doesn't matter. But these are the Air Jordan ones for the, uh, the, the white, black, and, uh, red ones, they're called white, black, hyper royal, and then, yeah, that's what they're called. So, I bought those, and I got those for 275, right? And I'm actually kind of proud of myself, because I, like, whenever I went in there, I'm like, man, I feel like these guys are, like, hustling out here, and I was like, maybe I overpaid for them, maybe I didn't, because back then, I actually kind of cared, like, sneakers, 
And then I was like, whatever, didn't think anything about it. But I just was looking at shoes today on StockX, which I know a lot of, some people like StockX, some people don't, some people like Goat, whatever. But I was looking at things on StockX and I've had a bad experience with StockX, but that was when they like first came out. Um, but I looked and they, my size 11 were $275. So what I paid for them is what they're going for right now on StockX and I could get them for. But um, I know the reason I don't like StockX is because when it, before I joined the army, right, whenever I got the, the money I actually used to buy the Air Force Ones and the retro ones, I was going to order off of StockX and I tried, it might've just been a seller issue, but like not StockX and all, but I ordered um, Jordan 12s, the retro 12s and the Chris Paul, those like olive green ones. I got those. So I was like, you know, I waited, I waited, the money was still in my account. I was like, come on, like take it out. It was like literally like, uh, like three weeks and then they took the money out and I was like, cool, my shoe should be here soon. But I never got like an order confirmation or anything like that. And then like three weeks went by and I like called the stock X and I was like, what's going on? And they're like, Doo -doo -doo. they're like, oh, like, um, we're going to refund you money. Like there was a s issue with the seller. He didn't have them. Like I was like, it took six weeks for me to find this information. I had to go find it. That's why I don't like, didn't really like stock X, but I've also ordered off of goat. Um, nothing major. Like, I don't think I have issues anymore, but I was like, um, you know, I was, uh, like it just took forever to get there. Like another thing could be a seller issue, but, um, with that being said, the last two pairs of shoes I have probably aren't the best. I think my best would be, um, the one, my Jordan 12s, but I, like I said, Curry's my favorite basketball player and him and Allen Iverson of all time. Those two, like that, they're evenly matched. I can't put them in order. Um, but the, I love his shoes. Like I actually like to play basketball in Curry's. Like they just fit my play style. And I have those, I do have a pair of LeBron soldiers that I was going to show on this, but I decided not to cause they're really beat up. Um, and I also have Kyrie twos that are beat up, but, um, I love Curry's and they just started doing, my favorite ones are the ones and the twos, twos mainly, but they started doing his retro. So they release a, um, Curry 10. And then they released this uh, colorway of a either a two or a one. And then they released the Curry 10 in the same colorway. So like they're doing retro Currys now like Jordan. So it's kind of cool. But I'm going to show you my Currys that I got. I actually got these a week ago. Um, I'll show. Yeah, I'll show these first. Because I'm actually, I just played in these the other day because I got them in and was like, I, I told you I buy shoes to play in them, right? So like I like to come to the court and. For myself, I, I feel like I play better if I'm in nice shoes. But these are the retro versions of his original Sour Patch Kids. I forgot what they're calling them now. It's like Candy Party or something like that. But these I got off of Foot Locker, surprisingly, because I really, I looked on Under Armour and I, I found these actually looking for the next pair of shoes I wanted to show you. But these were the, so whenever Curry dropped, like, whenever I started liking Curry, he didn't have his own shoe. He just wore like, Golden State color Under Armors, and then he dropped his own shoe. I was so excited. But I was like 15, right? So I couldn't afford it. <laughs> so I used to beg my mom for a pair of these and never bought them. And then the Curry Twos came out, and they because these are the ones I wanted, right? This colorway, because it was like these. He had this colorway, and then they, he had the um, the dark matter ones, or like the purple ones. And my buddy Karan, he had those, and I wanted those too. But these are the ones I really wanted, and I couldn't afford it, right? So whenever I, they retroed them, I was looking for these other shoes, but they had those, so I bought them both, you know, impulse. But anyway, so let's go here to my next shoe that is for the ones I was looking for, which are also Curry, but they are, as you guessed it, Curry 2s. And I really like the Golden State colorway of these, the gold, or yeah, the goldish yellow with the blue, royal blue, and the darker, or the black, and the yellow bottoms, right? Never worn these. I actually, these are the next shoes I'm gonna wear, but I hate these because the toes are like this, uh, like a canvasy, like plastic, and when people step on them, they're gonna get absolutely scuffed. But, you know, I buy shoes to wear them, so. Yeah, so that's my small sneaker collection. I actually have an entire list on, sorry, let me put these back in the box and I'll come back up and talk to you. But I have an entire list on my phone of shoes that I wanted to buy. So some honorable mentions of shoes I've owned that I wish I still had is I had um, my Kyrie 2s, which I still have them, but they're beat up. 
and uh, I actually customized them on, um, they're actually in my closet in the other room, but I custom, but they're size 10, right? I wear 11 now. I used to wear 10 and a half like in high school, but like now if I play in 10 and a half, my toes like bang up against the front and it hurts. Like my toenails, like feel like they're getting yammed into the, my foot, so it hurts, but so I, I play in 11s now. But they were size 10, and even when they I had them in their size 10, they were still a little snug. And now I just can't play in them because they're way too small. But they're black, gold, with, uh, they're all black, and then they have like a gold, um, like in the side sole is like gold speckles with a gold swoosh. And then in the tongue has a number uh, that, like for basketball, or no, it's for football, but um, it has a number in them. But uh, then we had um, another one with Curry 3s, which I'm going to buy them again. They were his birthday special ones. They were ice. They were like a nice pearl white with a translucent bottom and then ice blue accents. And I wore those actually when I played high school for the second high school I played for. They Their colors were like a royal blue and white. So it was like they just kind of flowed with like our uh, home jerseys. The home jersey is white, right? Yeah. So our home jerseys were white. So they actually really flowed well with those. And they didn't, but then I wore the next shoe is my favorite basketball shoe of all time. And they're also my favorite Jordan, which I mentioned in the beginning is the Jordan 30s. Um, Westbrook had them in, I want to say the same year that Curry came out with his ones. 2015, 2016, 2017, something like that. So it was, it was pre-20, and all, it was, yeah, pre-2017, right? Anywhere from 2016, 2017 is when they came out. Like I said, not a sneaker, I don't remember. I just remember the time frame of my life where I wore them. But me and my buddy went to the mall, um, and it was my birthday, and he bought me, you know, he was like, hey, what shoes do you want? And I was like, uh, I don't know, right? And he was like, I was like, well, you know, I, I do like these Jordan 30s, but they're expensive, they're like 220 And that was like retail price at Foot Locker. <laughs> and he was like, yeah, that's fine, get them. So they were the all black ones. So they came in the colorway of the all black with a little galaxy, um, like on the tongue was like, one of them was I think it's like South America and the other one was North America, but they were, they were all black and then they had a translucent blue bottom. And then in the bottom was like a galaxy color. And then like on the tongues were galaxy where the North America and South America were. And so, those were like my favorite, not not my favorite ones, because my favorite ones are expensive, which those are on my list to get. And I think I'm gonna get another pair of black ones just for the nostalgia. But I had, uh, they came in white and black, like a blue, white, a blue and white, like uh, they were the university color, like the university blue color with like all white. They were actually kind of ugly. Those are my least favorite ones, but I think Westbrook actually wore those the most. And then, they came in a red and black, which is the hardest red and black shoe combo that I love. But whenever I bought my Jordan, like you either get them retail or they were getting sold for $500 because Westbrook was the only one really wearing them at the time. So it was like, um, cause he didn't have a signature shoe, but that was his signature shoe. And I remember getting them cause they have like in the inside is like an elephant, like skin bottom. And then like the heels of them. I remember those were, the, I wore them during basketball practice for like three weeks every day, Monday through Friday. And it was like, my heel just always hurt so bad after, but I just powered through it. Cause I was like, my sneakers are fresh. Right. But it was like, they took forever to break in and they hurt your heels. So it was like, definitely like, I should not have been playing games in practice with my heel nets there with that, but I did. So whatever. So I think that's it. I think that's it. All my shoes, Jordan thirties. Oh, I had a pair of Curry 2s that were the they were professionals is what they're called. They were the black, gray, and white. My mom bought those. That's what I was saying is I could not get the Curry 1s, but my mom bought those for me when I played basketball. I used it. She's like, hey, mom, I'm playing basketball now. Like, I need a new pair of shoes. So we went to this. Uh, some some places might have it where you guys are from, but some might not. It's hip. It's, it's a sporting store. So they have, like, baseball. They have, like, a bunch of shoes and stuff like that. And they had them there. So I got those. And I really want another pair of those just for nostalgia, but yeah, I had crew twos. I never had 2.5s. I want 2.5s, you know, they're a little ugly, but yeah, so I think that covers today's video. This went way longer than I thought. I thought it was only gonna be like 10 minutes, but I got really into it. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, unboxing sneakers will come to you. So I plan on just like buying sneakers. Like it's not gonna, I'm not dropping a video every day or every week or every month even. Like I'm just trying to get back to you guys, maybe every month. But I'm gonna get a like new pair of shoes, unboxing. Maybe I'll play some 2K for you guys. Maybe I'll do this, you know. 
stuff like that. And, but I'm definitely going to be doing shoes a lot more, but they're going to be shoes I want, not shoes that, oh, look at these brand new Jordans, you know, like I'm going to be like, Hey, I like these shoes. I'm getting them. So I think on my list, I have a bunch of retros. So you guys will enjoy those different colorways. 11s are my favorite Jordan. So I have like a shit ton of 11s and 11 lows on my wish list. And then I have Curry's, I have Jordan 30s. Uh, what else? Oh, I have my favorite player of all time, other than Steph Curry, is Allen Iverson. I have his question marks. Like, they're stupid cheap. You can get for like $90. You can go to Re uh, not Reebok, but Foot Locker right now, and they probably have them there. I want his OG colorway and the Denver Nugget ones, but they're like 90 bucks. So it's like stuff like that. Like, it's not going to be over like price, but it's going to be an unboxing video of shoes I want. And I'll actually play basketball in those just to do it. But hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Please leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and peace out.